keeps us warm We can spend the night Underneath the mistletoe And I've gotten you a present That I put under the tree Tomorrow it is Christmas Hello you guys, happy Vlogmas day three. I just did my makeup, I am drinking my coffee and I am gonna bring you guys along a sort of like a work day in my life. If you guys have not seen my work morning routine, then check it out, I will leave it up in the iCard, but I work for Amazon and I work at one of their Whole Foods locations because I believe Amazon bought Whole Foods a couple of years ago and people basically order stuff online, like their food, groceries online and I am at the Whole Foods and I basically pack them. So today I wanted to bring you guys along kind of what a whole foods shopper does and i really hope you guys enjoy this video i am just finishing getting ready i don't usually like glam up to go to work but i do have a couple things to do after so i'm a little more like done up than usual okay it is 12 34 p.m this is my OOTD for today i am why is that manual focus okay that explains it okay so this is my outfit of the day for work i am wearing this detroit red wings um crew neck sort of thing i it's usually longer but i crop it i like tuck it in because i just like the look of this better i wanted to crop it but my boyfriend said that this seal makes it something i don't know but i wanted to crop it because it has the stain but i think it still looks okay and then i have my lululemon aligned leggings on they are the comfiest thing ever and i prefer them a lot better than wearing jeans to work because you have to reach you have to bend down and i think jeans are just a lot more stiffer you can't really work that well in them so i'm wearing these and then i'm about to change my shoes because i'm wearing slippers and obviously you don't wear slippers to work and then my hair i just blow dried it something super simple honestly just like pass the brush on it because i don't want to go out and into a grocery store with wet hair because i don't want to get sick so if you watched my morning routine video and then are watching this one you guys know of my famous kankin sling bag so for work you are allowed to take like a small bag somewhere to put your belongings because not every amazon site has lockers and even if we did have a locker like you, it doesn't come with a lock i think you have to bring your own lock so i wouldn't feel comfortable doing that so i just have a small bag in which i can carry all of my things that i need to take to work and i don't bring anything like extra or anything like that it's just the things that i need because many of my items or like many of my clothes don't have pockets and i wouldn't want to put my phone in my pocket i don't want it to fall down since i'm bending it down reaching up high so i have this little bag and i just carry all of my essential things so usually in the front i carry my airpods and i also carry my contact lenses case this has a clean um solution in there because i do wear contacts and i prefer them over wearing glasses to work i have another pocket today i am just taking my tripod because of course i have this camera and then i have my face mask amazon provides you with the face mask but you are um you are encouraged to bring your own face mask from home if you have one um and then i have my i have my lens cap and then of course i have to have hand sanitizer i think everyone should be carrying hand sanitizer um wherever they go nowadays especially because you're touching things and stuff like that I also have my Amazon badge. I'm going to show you guys. I can only show you guys that because it has like my name and like a QR like scanner thing you use to clock into your shift. So you will get this whether you work at the warehouse or like at Whole Foods and you'll just wear this. It has um, this black thing. So you'll just be wearing that throughout your shift and it shows your name and everything. I have my phone with me. I keep it with me because right now they are letting us have our phones on the floor because of you know covid if you're not supposed to use it don't use it like if it's not an emergency don't use it but i will link my case down below it is 
a cloud case similar to the caseify one but it's actually a dupe and like a quarter of a price it's from amazon i'll link it down below i get so many questions about this okay let's just go i have my face mask here um and i'm gonna change my shoes because i can't show up with um my freaking slippers this video is a mix of voiceover and regular style video so let's just get started the first thing you do when you get to the store is get a temperature check amazon has done a great job of doing this giving masks gloves obviously i'm not wearing gloves in some of these clips because i'm not actually clocked in to a shift but let's continue so the first thing you do after you do the temperature check is get a cart and since I am not clocked in or have gloves, I am going to extra sanitize the cards. Amazon sanitizes them and someone is in charge of making sure the cards are sanitized like the lady you see like over there. But I'm just going to get a cart and just sanitize all around. I just think it's really important. They do it but I always do it again because I just feel extra safer. Once you get your card, you get your temperature check and gloves and mask if you don't have one, you go ahead and clock in with a batch that looks like this. It'll have your picture and your name on it and a QR code so that you can scan it. And you also clock out with this as well. You go to the back room to do this. I can't show you guys that, but this is how you clock in. Once you clocked in, you'll get a phone similar to this. It has like an otter box, very well protected. I actually found a clip of when I was working once. Um, and this is how you will receive the shopping list for the orders you pick up. So as you can see, I have a couple of items I need to pick up in this clip. Okay, so usually Amazon gives you gloves. But since I'm not actually clocked into a shift, I don't have any gloves. But we are going to be shopping for some items. I have my cart right here. Um, usually you would divide the cart into four sections with your bags. I don't have any bags, but you would do that. But I'm still going to do it in this video to show you guys. So in your cart, you will usually have separate bags to put chilled, ambient, frozen foods in. They're all different. If I find a clip of me with those bags, I'll insert them in here. So basically, once you have your bags, you have your order, you go around the store and look for the items in the list. Today, since I'm not actually clocked into a shift, I'm actually shopping for myself. So I'm going to pick up a couple of items. The phone will usually have a map and show you where things are located. So it's easier for you guys to find it and also faster since customers have to get their order within like a two hour window. So like I said here, I'm actually pretending to do an order. So you have your phone and once you have the item you think is listed on your phone, you will scan the QR code like I'm doing so right now. And the phone will tell you if it's the right one or if it's another one. And if it's the right one, you just go ahead and put it in the cards in the designated bag. As you shop for items, you will get measured on metrics, how fast you actually pick up the items. So it's important to try to memorize where everything is. And once in a while, you might not be able to find what the customer wants because it might be out of stock. You're always supposed to ask a Whole Foods shopper if they might have any in the back. But if the customer declines your replacement, you will just be able to take that out and replace it with something else. So I was actually able to find a clip of when I actually scanned an item when I was at work one day. So here's what it looks like when you scan an item and it's the right one. It will just take you back out. Literally everyone, all the workers are looking at me like, what in the world are you doing? I am making a fool of myself. That's what we're doing. Look at all the Tito's. That's a nice tree. Also, from time to time, you'll shop for pets they do have like a fridge with some fresh doggy food here i'm shopping for my dog mooch but i also put this in a separate bag and i separate it from like the rest of the food for sanitary reasons next up we have produce i like to pick up a couple of bags i like to count how many items approx will need some bags for um the produce section and i also do like a quality check you're taught and you're trained to always pick out the best vegetables and the best fruit whenever you are shopping for a customer just as if you were shopping for yourself also weighing the items that need to be weighed is super important because the customer will get charged what weight you put into the phone app so you have to make sure you're always around the same range as the amount of produce or meat that they asked for 
as you can see even though i don't have bags it's separate between ambient chilled and frozen and like the dog food <laughs> when working a shift you're supposed to bag each item in their designated bags whether it's chilled frozen or ambient or the ice cream ones i will insert some footage if i have some from um a time i've been working if i find any but after that you just put like a sticker on top and you then go stage it at some refrigerators or assigned places whether it's chilled frozen or ambient okay so my chicken noodle soup is ready look at how good that looks that's the first time i'm ever making it and it actually looks really really good i'm about to try it i'm gonna put some lime juice in it because if you know me you know i put lime in almost anything i eat um that goes with lime obviously but i hope you guys enjoyed this video this behind the scenes of you know uh kind of like a work day in my life how working at whole foods works and i'm still editing yesterday's vlog i'm about to upload it i'm about to upload day two i'm not done so i need to finish this because this vlog needs to be up tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know down below what other videos you would like to see from me and i'll see you in my next video on vlogmas day three bye Merry Christmas.